Howdy, hello, thank you for watching. I'm Wes, this is Tom, we're the Hippie Explorers. We wander around New England searching for gold and show you where the gold is and where it isn't. Today we are in uh, uh, Byron, Maine. And we've been here for, this is our third day here and we made a nice breakfast because without butter without butter a bacon egg and cheese sandwich too far to go into town for a breakfast because we're heading where we're going today and there's nothing else around <laughs> we're not going north we're not going south we're going east uh, to the Carabasset River that's the plan today um, so while we eat, why don't we, uh, you, uh, get the weather report from the Hip B. Hey, all you groovy dudes and your slap happy hippies. And you angry poopers, too. I was down there foraging around the ground for something to eat because they made bacon. Didn't give me none. Bees like bacon. Bees like bacon! I didn't get none, but I got to give you the weather. Here we go. I don't see no clouds. It looks really sunny, nice day. Gonna be about 85, might be a little hot today. But they're going out to the river today and I'm gonna hang around here, um, find something to eat. I got their honey. <laughs> <Doo -doo. laughs> Thank you, Hip B, for that uh, wonderful weather report. We'll have to get our honey back from him somehow. Once he gets it, he doesn't let it go. So we are going to head out. We're going to head over to uh, the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. We want to get some ice for the cooler and some drinks, maybe a sandwich if they got some sandwiches. And uh, let's go! Hello! We're here. 
here to give away those prizes from last week. <clears throat> but before we do that, I want to say a big thank you to Philip from PD Honey for donating a nugget. And Kenneth Chapman from Albuquerque, New Mexico also donated a nugget. Those will be inducted in future episodes when we get to certain tiers. The nuggets will be inducted in the order we receive them. Also, you can get honey, our honey, at the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop in Byron, Maine. If you're up that way, you can save money on shipping. Just go in there and get a jar. Uh, also, um, we have this shirt and this gem bag we're giving away. Last week, we used the secret word, which I think was, I forget what the secret word was. I think it was boo. Yeah, I think it was boo. Boo. Ron Rogers' dog. And this shirt from the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. It says peace, love, and gold on it. It's groovy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have races and everybody who commented using the secret word in the last week's video is eligible. In the first race will be half of them. I couldn't fit everybody into one race so I'm going to do it in two halves. The first race coming up right away is going to be half of them. We're going to take five. The top five finishes will make the finals. Later in this episode we're going to have another race. Top five will make the finals and then there'll be a third and final race where we pick the winner. So let's have the first race. Here we are out on the racetrack for the first race. We're going to take, this is half of the commenters who used the secret word last week. We're going to take the top five. And here we go. And they're off. Jeff Richardson, Ken Eastman, Taco Hanna out in front, Lieutenant Immelman. Ken Eastman have a good lead. Richard Jeff Richardson was battling, but they're falling off. Here comes Boomer on the bottom, battling with Lieutenant Immelman. 207 Mania that now has a slim lead. Here comes Dakota Cole down the whole stretch with five. Oh, here comes Paul Cook and Dakota Cole. It's gonna be close. Paul Cook. It was a close race down the home stretch. Let's look at the final results. Results, here we go. Paul Cook, Roy Liard, and Paul Charnley. Congratulations. The top five are going to make it. So Old Pelham and Dakota Cole. Those top five are going to make the finals. So stick around. We're here in the town of New Portland, Maine which is just south of Kingfield at the Wire Bridge, which you may have seen us drive awesome over. awesome looking bridge. Yeah, we were at the uh, Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. Rosie gave me a gem bag. Maybe I'll do it later. And we can see what's in those. But we also got a giveaway that was donated by Scott Lyons. And Amanda. And, and, a, do. and Amanda. So let's take a look at that and see what we're giving away today. Look at the bag. They all got their tongues out and teeth. <laughs> That's great. Let's see what we got. And they went in Rosie's to get this yesterday. They actually left it there for us, but we ended up showing up while they were still there. That's a great hat. Pretty cool. I want that myself. And Oh yeah, look at that, from around the world, grab bag, gemstones, right on. Nice. And what else you got there? Oh, look at that. That's Peace, pretty cool. love, and Maine. Right on. That's not it? That's not all. Oh. Oh, and some pay dirt. <laughs> Gotta like that. That's a pretty nice giveaway. So stay tuned, we'll tell you how you can win that. We need a shady, lazy spot. <laughs> Here we are out on the Carabasset River. Chuck Elder's down there. 
Let's take a look around. That's the wire bridge in New Portland. Looking good. We'll see if there's some gold here. Looks like there is. There are people working here. We're going to go check out a few setups over here. We're here at the wire bridge and a viewer came over, William Hunt. He's been here before. We never have. He says there's gold. Same good gold here. Is me too. There's definitely some good gold here. Well, so we're going to see what we can find. I might do a lot of filming today of other people. Uh, Chuck has a dredge here today. Well, not Chuck, but Dale Covey has a dredge. So we'll see how that goes. There's a DIY high bank over there. You want to come over and check that out also? Right? Yeah, we'll go over and check that out. Got to get a nice shot of that shirt. Look oh. at that. <laughs> now... Is this the first time setting up this dredge? First time ever. First yep. time ever. Found it in the yard. And, and that's the, it. that's not the four inch. Yep. Yeah. That's the four the inch? Size of that. Yep. How come that don't look four inch? Oh, that's the feed hose, that's, right? That's just the feed for the Okay. Particular. Now, William over here, look at this. Now, this is interesting stuff right here. Redneck engineering at its fine, the radio. He's got a regular sluice box. He's got some legs, a waste basket. He's running it off of a battery with a solar panel. He's got some hardware cloth in there. Look at that. No more classifying. Oh, sir. Some great hillbilly engineering. Is that what you called it? Oh, Something like it. Redneck engineering. Yeah, redneck <laughs> engineering. <laughs> That's great. Now he's got a pump down here, just sitting in a pan. He's got a 1500 gallon per hour. And it looks like that's plenty of water for that. And it washes it right through. That's great. Maybe he'll show us what he gets out of that. Okay, Chuck has found a spot here. This is a nice inside bend here. Scott found a spot there. We'll see how they do. Scott's got a Miller shovel. He does. Look at it. It's a Carl Miller shovel. It looks pretty good. <laughs> I got one. Did that come from Carl? Oh. Oh, oh he's got the Miller. Yeah. Look at that. Right, get in the rock here. It works better this way. The scoop works pretty good. All right, we'll see if he gets anything out of that. out and uh, filmed everyone that's out there prospecting. We're going to check in with them. It's not the greatest place to set a sluice up because of the pitch. So uh, Chuck and Scott are panning it out and uh, Dale and Kyle got that four inch dredge going. So we'll see how that does. And uh, Chris is out there behind a rock. And we got William Hunt with his homemade high banker looking good over there. So we're going to check in with them. Look at this. We just got here and it's got it's snack time. Oh, it's snack time. We're going to go with some. Let's see what we got. Oh, you want some? Yeah. That's good. Two's good. I just want to see. I've yet to find another bear. Let's see what I got. Let me show you. I got a koala bear, and that looks like a buffalo. A buffalo. Is that a buffalo? Yep. I don't remember a buffalo being in there. They don't throw a bear or a buffalo on him. No. That's like the old-fashioned. It was all exotic African animals. 
but now they got a buffalo in there. What do you know? Oh, it's a beautiful day. People are swimming up there, and people are dredging over here. We're relaxing in the sun. It is. We're relaxing in the sun. We're just going to film everybody else and see if they can get us to show us their gold. We have a new piece of camping equipment here. Tom loves his DeWalt fan, but he has this new one. It's a small version. Fits right on the battery, just like that. Look at that. On these hot days. And this is a light. Yeah, you need a remote. To... Oh, it comes with a remote control. It's got a USB charge. And a USB, so you can charge your phone. Full power. That's great. That's like on the river fan. You can put that there, you can put it down there between your legs. <laughs> All right, we're, uh, we're gonna check in with uh, the dredging out there. We're sitting up here in the shade, just uh, having a great day. Uh, it's beautiful here. And we're watching everybody prospect. I like that pot. <laughs> We're gonna check in with them in a little bit. Chuck is building a little wall here. Try and get more flow. He needs a rock in that spot right there. <laughs> you can tell it's getting because it's further and further down. Yeah. I think you'll be able to get it through with that. Put a scoop in there, let's see how it goes. going it's going it's all right we'll check back with you all right when you got that bucket done and we'll see what's in it how's it going scott a couple little tiny specks that's all yeah i seen you over there with the snuffer bottle i said i'm going over yeah. <laughs> a couple little specks a lot of black you get it all run? It is. Black all right, he's done. What was this? Just a bucket, right? Yep. Ah, some nice gold in there. Some nice pieces. Mm. Look at that. There's gold here. There sure is. So, yeah, Chuck lives out on an island. It's a big island in Casco Bay. Yep. So it, uh, you got to take the ferry out there. Yeah, quite a, quite a way. About a three-hour journey for me. What's it like in the winter taking that ferry? Um, cold. You got a lot cold of ice wind, in the yeah. way, or yeah. they break it up, or keep air bubbles going underneath they, the dock, or the, the boats are built with steel fronts on them, so they just break the ice as they go through them. We had it freeze all the way across the Cousins Island. Now, but, how big is that island? Uh, five miles long, a mile and a half wide. Have you lived on there your whole life? No, I lived on Long, moved to town, moved to Shabig. Ah. So I started on an island, went to town, and then came back to an island. So. So you work on the island? I'm the public works guy out there. Yeah. Oh, right on, we right plow, on. Plow all the roads in the winter and and dig the ditches and do the floats and take floats in and out. And there's a lot to it. That's great. So yeah. Well, thanks for showing us your gold. Thank you. Have you a know, a lot day. of people don't want to see show you their gold. I know. Right? <laughs> no claim jumping now. No. <laughs> so Chuck found some gold. I think Scott's also finding some flower gold. They're just tanning. Uh, Carl and Dale are out there with the dredge. And uh, William is still running his redneck high banker over there. We'll see. He's been putting bucket after bucket through that. I bet you he's going to have some gold in there. Where's well, Chris? Chris is out in the middle of the river on the other side over there. Oh yeah. He's digging cans here and a digger pan there. So we'll see when he gets back what he's got. And we're sitting here under a nice shade tree eating animal crackers. With a nice fan. With a nice fan. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, oh it feels good on the beard. <laughs> That's great. A beautiful spot here. I wanted to take some drone footage, but I forgot it. So I need my sandwich soon. Yeah, we're gonna probably have our sandwiches we got from uh, Rosie. I think I'm gonna go up and get them. We got 
turkey and provolone. Where did we get these? We got them at uh, Coos Canyon. Rock and gift. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, great sandwich. And some chips. We're working hard today, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> I like it when other people do the panning and digging because I can show you some gold and I don't have to do it. Carl's out there with a snorkel running that four inch dredge. Well, we'll see. I don't know if we'll see because they're probably going to bring those cons home. But we're going to have lunch here. We're up here having lunch and I realize, you know what we're missing today? We're missing a gold dance. But it's not gonna be from me. I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably ten tails, full tail yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah, nice. You're running about two hours. Yeah, I'd say about there. two hours. Yeah. 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 What do you get? I got four fly feet. Yeah, they're gonna be a little what jealous then. Oh man! Wow, nice. That for just today. You know, I was just saying to somebody over here, the guy who's going to get the most cold is the guy over there in the red shirt. Yeah. <laughs> He's running a lot of buckets, and that's what it takes. Yeah. That's wow. We usually get quite a bit when yeah. we it's come up here. Some nice pieces, that looks too. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I noticed you, you stick right on the high edge. Yeah. 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 He digs where other people aren't digging. That's great. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, here we are out on the racetrack for the second race. This is the second half of the commenters who used the secret word last week and they're at the starting line good luck everyone and they're off who's it gonna be chris potter richard parker daniel peters on the bottom chris potter up top down with that strip christopher machad in the middle and linda elder cp Christopher Michaud, Linda Elder, and ZP coming down the home stretch. Here they go. It's going to be close. DK617. I don't know. It's real close. John Gifford out of the middle of the pack. John Gifford wins the race. Let's see who the top five were who are going to make the final. John Gifford, Kenneth Lloyd, ZP, Daniel Peters, and Liberty Laugh 76. You made the finals. Congratulations. We're going to go take a look at that black sand. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that a sexy So place? now, what, now, I got to film this next process. You're going to clean that out. Okay, into the tub. Yeah, and then. And then classification. What do you want done with that? And then you're going to use that, where is it? It's right there. Right there, that thing there. And that goes on the dredge. It was on the dredge with everything on it. Okay, so we're going to see that uh, go on. They're going to show us now. I didn't hear about this. This is new to me. Did you look at that? Now that comes out, and underneath is a whole another set of ripples. Let's see if the redneck sluice beats the four inch dredge here. <laughs> he ran about two hours. What'd you run, about an hour and a half or so? Okay, <laughs> these are the corns. Holy smokes, you'll be panning that for a month. Okay, well, that's what we got. Now the idea is to... Yeah, it's going back in. Put the, yeah, he's, this is a clean out sluice, that green thing, and it's going in. He's going to start it back up, and that will reduce the concentrates down. That's what I'm, I'm getting from this. The 
we'll see. Okay, so he's going to clean out all these mats. Kyle is running the uh, concentrates through a cleanup sluice, that green one in the back, and the mats look like they're clean. Got all the mats cleaned out and into a pan. Those are the mats. And this is, uh, they're reducing the concentrates from the sluice box down into a, maybe half, or, or I'm not sure, maybe even a lot less than that, because they had quite a bit of uh, stuff from the sluice. So we'll see what they get when they're done. Yeah, look at that. It took that bucket and turned it into that. Now that, I would say, is probably like a tenth or less of what was in there. Yeah. Wow. After that gold dance, I'm sure there's gonna be some gold in there. See it up there? Oh yeah. How many are in there? You can see it good there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. the end of the sluice for all that black sand. Yeah, that's nine. Just, that's just the mat. Yeah. No, that's just the mat. That's the up top mat. Right. What, this that's is what, that's what's going that's, on. Clean that's just the end. Yeah. No, that, the, what you just did was the end of the sluice. Just them set of ripples right there. Oh, right, right. So that's just one mat. No, barely. Oh, well, that's a good indicator. Just the sampling. <laughs> Maybe. Here's a handful of the cons that Carl uh, panned out. So that's pretty good. They've got a lot there, and they've got a whole bucket down there. He's gonna. You have a gold cube at the house, correct? Yes, sir. And, and then I'll put it on a little miller table. All right. Maybe I can get a picture when you're all done, and we'll show yes, all sir. the fans how well they did. But there's gold here. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. People come here swimming and dredging and sluicing and everybody's having a good time there's a barbecue up there a little ball field central main gold prospectus has their season ending outing here and i see why yeah. Here we out on the racetrack for the final race. The winner wins it all. Only one winner this time, and they get the prize, the giveaway from last week. And they're off. And who's it going to be? It's a really tight race between all of these contestants. Liberty Laugh up top and Roy Liard on the bottom battling it out. Liberty Laugh has the slight lead, it looks like, but Roy is fighting fast. It looks like he's taking the lead. It's going to be really close. 
Is there anybody else there? Looks like Kenneth Lloyd is trying to make his move right up the middle. He's gaining ground. It's going to be close. Kenneth Lloyd. And here comes Roy down the bottom. He hasn't given up yet. Roy Liard Sr. looks like he's going to hold on. Is he going to hold on? It's going to be close. And he does. Roy Liard Sr., you are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations, Roy. You won that shirt and the gem bag. All you have to do is contact us within 30 days to claim that prize, and it's yours. Now let's get back to the show. We just got back here, and I got to unload this wood. Uh, it was a great day on the river. Um... This wood came from Chuck and Dale and Scott. The camp next to them left early and gave them the, their wood, and it was more than they could use. So, well, I guess we'll have a fire tonight. So we're setting up here and getting our things unloaded. Tom's opening up the windows. Coming in. See the temperature inside here. 100 degrees. That was the max of the day. <sighs> yeah, that's hot. We were sitting around in front of the fans. <laughs> and the sun, in that area, it's sunny because there's the rivers there. And, the, and so we decided, we started talking about this grave, which we've never been to. This is a little graveyard called, what is that? Buckfield Hill Cemetery. It's in Byron right near the East Branch. Now, if you've read the book, The Next Bend in the River, which is about this area, Carl Schilling was a uh, prospector from Germany that came here, made a living off of prospecting. And I guess he um, did well. He, li he, was a, he made a living off it here. Um, and then he died and people ransacked his cabin to try and find his gold. He lived right on the east branch. Right on the east bend, be behind me down the east hill. Branch. East branch of the Swift River. Uh, right behind me, I guess, down the hill. Let me show you around. The so-called famous one is right here from the book, The Next Bend in the River. 1977, he died. Look at 89. Wow. I guess you, when you're digging for gold, you stay in shape and fit. Twenty stones, right? But there may be more graves that aren't that are flat, that are overgrown. But someone's taking care of it because everything's cut. Well, there you have it. Uh, realizing, you know, this cemetery is probably just for the people that lived here in this general area. And that's why there's not many gravestones there. And a local told us about it, Gary. We saw him. We get so much information from stopping in at Rosie's because all the other people that we see there and we talk to and the locals know the area. Yeah. And uh, Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. All right, let's uh, get back to camp. I think we got a beeswax fire starter down in there. And we're gonna let her rip. Here I am. Tom's over there holding the camera. And here's some pork chops. Look at the fire. It's going good tonight. I like cooking outside. I like cooking outside. We're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in there. Like that. And I'm going to cook them slow, so I'm going to try to pull that off there a little bit. And we'll be back. We're going to 
stop like that. What you got there? Spinach. Okay. And that's romaine? Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Are those scallions? Yes, they are. Green mm -hmm. onions. Of course, some cheese on there. Rootin' tootin' croutons. You don't do croutons? No, not my salad. Hmm. All right, you know the drill. Nice ginger. Look at that. Put some ginger in there. Garlic in there, like that, and we're using some soy sauce in here, like that. And hippy honey. I don't know if we've ever made honey teriyaki pork chops. We might have. So we're going to mix them in there like that. Get all those juices around in there. Teriyaki pork chop salad. Here we are. We got it done just before it got dark. Yeah, it's getting real dark now. We made a last minute decision to go over and check out that old cemetery and the grave of the uh, Byron legend. We got poppy seed dressing. Poppy seed dressing. I hope I left you enough. Oh yeah, there's some in there, that's for sure. Looks really good. Try that chicken. It's not chicken. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. That's going to be really Not good. Bad. Look at that. Mm. I give that a toss. Toss it up. All kinds of things in there. Strawberries and blueberries and pork chops. Mmm. Mmm.
we're going to eat this and then we'll be back to uh, talk about this day we had today what a great day we'll be back I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button, and also those who shopped at thehipbee.com. These names you see on the screen are those members, and they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. If you'd like to be on this screen, visit thehipbee.com and make a purchase or Hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. Here we are. Outside, we're not in the corner. Nope. We're, uh, there's no bugs. We have the thermocell going, it's working good. So, and there was very few anyway. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. And we had a wonderful day. We saw David Farnham. A big shout out to him. He's been watching for a long time. And uh, we happened to bump into him. So it was great to see him. Are you going to put up a picture of him wearing the balloon shirt? Oh, he was the winner of the balloon shirt. Take a look. Look at that. Now that's groovy. Ooh, groovy. <laughs> so, uh, a big thumbs up to him. And uh, we... Went in to see Rosie today. We got our sandwiches for lunch, and I'll tell you, a lot better than a gas station sandwich, I'll tell you that. Awesome sandwich. Awesome sandwiches. And uh, we went over to the Carabasset River where the wire bridge is, and that's a groovy bridge. I yeah. mean, it, it moves around. It's like you're dancing. When really you're cool. Dancing. And uh, we saw William Hunt. And we saw Carl Miller, Chuck Elder, Dale Kobe, and uh, Scott Hammer were all over there today. And Chris. And Chris. Did I forget Chris? Yeah. And we saw our other people there, too, that we talked to. And So uh, dinner was really good, you know? Pork chop salad is not something that you see on every menu. But that salad was two thumbs up, I thought. Yep. And is there anything else? Oh, the giveaway. Almost forgot about the giveaway. Uh, Scott Lyons and Amanda uh, donated a giveaway. So thank you. A big thumbs up to them. Yeah, awesome. And uh, what's on that bag? All the animals sticking out their tongues. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it's funny. How about the secret word be tongue? How's that? No? I guess. <laughs> it's the bag with the tongue. Yeah, see, to remind you, there's a picture of the bag with the tongue. And you're going to get that bag with the whole package. Use the word tongue in the comments down below. And then just as you see it on the screen here, because, you know, some people might spell it differently, but that's how we're spelling it. And put it, the comments down below and make sure you're a subscriber and hit that like button once we get uh what is it 200 likes now once we get 200 likes we're gonna pick a uh winner and we'll let you know next week next wednesday 7 30. check out the for some delicious honey you can make honey teriyaki pork chops can we also mention if you want to get into prospecting Yes, if you ever want to get into prospecting, you can come up here to uh, the Rock and Gift, and you can rent a pan. Who's Canyon? Rock if you don't want to gift. commit to buying all the equipment, you can come up and rent a pan from Rosie and go out on the river and spend the day panning. And I talked to a lot of people up here this week so far, and they just love it out there enjoying the day on the river. Yep, you get your sandwich right there, you get your panning stuff, you can get pay dirt. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Ice cream. And ice cream to finish the day. I didn't get ice cream. I got a gem bag, but I didn't do it. We'll have to get that next week. Yeah. And can't get enough of us. Hit that join button. Become a member. You got access to all of our behind-the-scenes stuff and members-only videos. 
And that's about it. I said it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Till next week, peace.